Alright, so for the start of the sausage tortellini soup, I have a mirror pot going here. So just the onions, celery, carrots, there's a touch of olive oil at the bottom of the pan. We just want to get that all incorporated and then I'm going to go ahead and add the sausage even though it's um, still frozen that's totally fine so I'm going to go ahead and add this this is what I had sliced and left over from the uh, sausage that I got for the sausage and peppers so we'll just let this defrost while it's in here and we'll let the sausage fat get into everything. And uh, we'll be back. It's looking beautiful. And the sausage is rendering all the fat and the juices. So it's, it's really good for flavor. Now I would have preferred some kale in here. Some fresh kale thrown in last minute. I don't have any fresh kale. So I've decided I'm going to try some of the Margaret Holmes Fancy Chopped Spinach in here. And I'll probably throw that in last minute as well. So in just a couple minutes here, I can go ahead and add my beef broth and see how that looks. All right. So I am now adding 32 ounces of beef broth and let's see how the 32 ounces looks in here pretty sure that's not going to be enough but, but it's a good start all right so that's nice all right so I do only have one container of uh, beef broth because that's all they had, but I do have one of chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and add 32 ounces of chicken broth now as well. You can see the difference in that color when it comes out of the container. And this will, this will do it for now. And then if I need anything else, it's just gonna be water. All right, so we have 64 ounces of broth in here. Half beef, half chicken. And we're just gonna let this simmer for a while. Like I, I showed you the spinach, that's gonna go in last minute pretty much. And let me show you the a tortellini. So this is going to be the tortellini cheese tortellini. I got this from Aldi. It's only eight ounces. Um, and when the soup has simmered for a while, I'm going to throw in the tortellini and probably the spinach at the same time. And whenever the tortellini is done, is tender and cooked, that's when the soup will be ready. Nice and easy. Okay, I've turned it off and let it cool just slightly so that I can go in and skim some of the fat layer off the top. I know I'm not going to get all of it, but some is better than none. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to get off as much of this fat off the top as I can. Okay, so now that's done. I have opened and drained the spinach and I'm just going to go ahead and add some of this in here. This is a 29 ounce can, so I will not be using the whole thing. I'll be using about half of what's in here and I'll save the rest in the Tupperware for something else. And I'm still squeezing out some of that juice with the fork before I go ahead and put it in the soup. All right, that's looking good. Just put in a tiny little bit more, squeeze out more juice, and a 
pinch more and I think this should do it yeah that looks good to me all right all right maybe just a little <laughs> this should do it now okay all right so now I'm at the same time going to add in the tortellini and once the tortellini is cooked, the soup will be done. So I just pour in the whole bag of tortellini. Ooh, that smells very cheesy. So I'm just going to turn this back on. Let this cook. And as soon as the tortellini is cooked, the soup will be ready to eat. All right, guys, it's ready to serve. This is the finished product. The spinach is in, the tortellini is cooked. And I uh, did end up adding a cup of water at some point, but it does taste delicious. I didn't even have to spice it. It's pretty good. So, all right, thank you so much for coming along on this little culinary trip with me. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it gave you some ideas for the future. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.